Hey Levant, how are you doing today? I'm great, John. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. All right. So what are we doing here today? So John, I'm going to tell you, we're going to open this GX7N. And it is a rangefinder today for playing golf, not oh, hunting. Not hunting. Got not, it. Not hunting. All right. You're going to want to buy this, and I'm going to tell you why. All right. Why don't you <laughs> show me now? Okay. Yeah, opening the box, and then while I'm opening it, we can get into some of the specs. This rangefinder scans ranges up to 800 yards. 800 yards. All right. <clears throat> In the box itself, you have a lanyard. Awesome. Extra battery. Even better. Come and... on, how can you go wrong with an extra battery? <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you about it, but then yeah. the glasses cloth, my personal favorite. I like to collect them and put them in my pockets. My wife hates it. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> and the carabiner and your owner's manual. There you yeah, are. Which is crucial if you want to know how to use it. Uh, and I believe uh, there, John, these uh, <clears throat> rangefinders come in for this series yeah. in blue and white. Nice. My personal favorite is the white. Yeah. My, my. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'll get into some of this. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll get into some of the right. uh, functions here. You have range mode, scan mode, you have the switch slope mode, and it can switch between meters and yards. And if you notice here, Win, swing. And what does that mean, John? That means you swing to win. Hey. That's right. All right. So um, getting into more of the, the usage of it, I'm not so sure here. Well, how about the, I tell oh, you? The power button. Oh, thank you, John. All right. I'll I know a little bit more here. All right. So this is one of my favorite models. In fact, I took it to play a tournament about two months ago. Right. So, How'd you do? Well, I lost. Yeah, I probably the back nine. Yeah, right? yeah. I think I came in like second to last. But that's okay. That's not the point. This really did help me. All right. So all you got to do is you press power on, and then you have two modes. You have a range mode, and okay. you have a scan mode. Mm. If it's in scan mode, you can look at the whole grass, the whole field, survey so everything. So a horizontal view. Of the, yeah, of as the, close and as far as you green. want. Yeah, you get a whole field All of the right green. there, John. But let's say when you're getting ready to take that swing, you're like, well, I'd like to lock under the flag to know where I need to go. All right. So you press that mode button, boom. You press that mode button, you're in range mode. Now, you're looking through, Boom, now you just lock that flag. You're good to go. Great. So once you lock that flag, you're like, all right, well, I know I'm not going to hit it to the flag, but how can I aim somewhere closer? Hmm. Do you know? Yeah, so it makes my amateur game almost professional. Yeah, all you got to do is hold the power button down, mm. and now you're going to be able to scan closer for that shot to get you to the green. Oh, right. Uh, and I know there's, see, there's a little light here on the side. Oh, here. yeah. That's, what, is that, what is that feature? This is our slope switch function, oh. which is a, get, helps you view the slope. But there's something you need to know. Okay. It's, this is, don't shock me here, John. It's pretty shocking. All right. <laughs> if you use the slope switch in a tournament, you're automatically disqualified. Oh, so we can't be showing that to the referees. Uh, no, actually you're pretty lucky because this one, when you press the slope switch, it will be on, but once you press it again, it'll turn off. Oh. And if the judges see that it is flashing, the light is flashing, this indicator, mm -hmm. then they'll know you're okay to use it. But if they catch you, which maybe you might, maybe you might not, but if they catch you using the slope, you're automatically out of the tournament. Mm. And that is a risk I am not willing to take. Yeah, well, no. let's not get too uh, fancy here, buddy, in this terminology. So how does it do in the rain? Um, I heard it's pretty good. It's got something like IPX4, okay. but I don't know what does it mean. I don't think you can go swimming with it. No, but, no. maybe just light to moderate rain because it is electric with batteries. Mm, yeah. So how about uh, the diopter? The diopter is, is uh, it seems standard in all their levels. Let's just uh, reiterate it for the... Uh, the, the masses? Consumer? Yeah, yeah. the consumer. All right, well, one of the things about the diopter is it can change the degrees of the viewing so you don't need your lens. Oh, you don't need your glasses. My glasses, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you'd Makes be sense. able to look through it without any glasses. Oh. Think how convenient that is. It's nothing like going to the theaters and just wearing two sets of 3D, your 3D glasses, your regular glasses, trying to watch a movie. So I've mentioned here now this is the uh, GX7N. And now next uh, next term, they will launch a new one, and it's the GX7N Pro. And yes. the big difference between this one and the Pro, the Pro can measure up to 1,000 yards, and this one can only do 800 yards. And not just that. It can also has an OLED function that you can view in uh, poor lighting. So if the oh. sun's starting to go down, it'll give you better clarity down the range. It'll beam so, the field up. Eh? Exactly. Okay, man. And, uh, and something that you really should know, is that it has ex wonderful battery life. Oh. It's got a CR2 3-volt battery that can go 5,000 uses at least. Is that lithium-ion? Of course. Okay. Only the best. Double A's? Yep. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> None of those. They leave. All right. It's, a, it's, a, it's all unique battery. All but right. one of the great things about this company is yeah, tell me about the customer service. That we'll yeah, into that. exactly. Well, let's talk about the warranty. First of all, they have a lifetime customer service warranty. Okay, so 10 years down the road. Yeah, you have an issue. I slip and fall. It crunches under my head. Uh, maybe you'll have a chance. Yeah, yeah. but they will, they'll definitely <laughs> they'll help you, me get it. They will let you know what they can do to help you, and they will still be willing to answer any questions you have. But your full extended warranty will give you at least two years. So oh, you have two years for two full protection. Years. And you know where you can find this product, John? At alfar.com, or you can search it on Amazon. Thank you, John.